Okay, so this is my project uh, on Justin Bieber. <laughs> and uh, he, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just read you my introduction here. Justin Bieber is a Canadian singer and songwriter. He's well known for his appealing pop songs that sparked a global trend starting in 2009. His fame started when he was only 15 to 16 years old, and he has gotten very famous over the years. So he got, he was famous. So he, when he was like 12 years old, he started uh, posting like, posting videos on the internet of him singing that his mom, or that his mom was recording. And so that really, and then he was noticed by the music industry. So that really like, sparked his career i guess and so yeah um so he was born on march 1st in 1994 in stratford ontario uh he was raised by his single mother patty millette uh uh she's she's a canadian film producer um but he he and his dad uh jeremy they weren't as close growing up, um, but now he says he he said he he says he claims that he's now maintaining his, that he and his dad are close again, uh, despite their complicated relationship. Um, like for example, his first the first tattoo that Justin Bieber got matched his father's tattoo. It was a seagull, I think. And um, uh, he has four siblings. Their names are Ali, Jasmine, Jackson, and Bay. Um, and uh, okay, so in he was he got married to Haley Baldwin uh, in in on September thirteenth. And he only two months after getting engaged, and uh, later that later that year he had completely confirmed he was a married man, and uh, yeah, they have been pretty open. The two of them have been pretty open to talk about their marriage, uh, both through social, both through social media, and through um, interviews. Um, so Justin Bieber, he had these childhood friends, which I'm not, I won't go through all of the quotes because it's very long, but he had some childhood friends and basically they're talking about how he, um, he, uh, how he took them on tour with him and how before he became a musician, None, none of his friends even knew he was a singer. And they, because they knew, but they knew he was like competitive in sports or whatever. So he, then he ended up taking them on tour and, it, and it, yeah, it talks about them like going on tour and meeting the music industry people. And uh, yeah, so why is Justin Bieber famous? Justin Bieber is a very popular singer, songwriter, and actor from Canada who began by being discovered on the internet by talent manager Scooter Braun. In 2008, Justin was signed for a record label. Um, he, was, he, he, had a, he has a huge fan following from all over the world and is well-respected in the music industry. Justin Bieber won various awards, including a Grammy Award for Best Dance Recording in 2016. He's continuously under the radar of media critics and closely followed by his, for, for, by his fans on social media. Some of his hit songs include One Time, Baby, All I Want for Christmas Is, Boyfriend, Beauty and a Beat, Where Are You Now, What Do You Mean, Despacito, and I Don't Care. A few of his albums include My World, My World 2.0, My World's Acoustic, Under the Mistletoe, Believe, Believe Acoustic, Purpose, Changes the Best, uh, hashtag TBT, 
Um, JB6, Home for Christmas and Justice. Impact on Canada. So, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is a singer whose pop songs and voice are a lasting legacy in Canadian pop history. He received his first Grammy nominations in 2010 for Best New Artist as well as Best Pop Vocal Album. He won his first career Grammy in 2015 for Best Dance Recording, Where Are You Now? with Diplo and Shrillix. Justin made his Grammy stage debut alongside Jaden Smith as well as Usher at the 53rd Grammy Awards performing his hit Baby. Well, his first EP, 2009's My World, reached number five on the Billboard 200. It wasn't until his debut studio album, 2010's My World 2.0, hit number one, that, that Justin Bieber became a, a, a bona fide sensation. Baby, featuring Ludacris, became his international top 10 hit, reaching number five. As of 2016, Bieber had granted more than 260 wishes for terminally ill children in support of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, timeline, uh, 1994, Justin Bieber was born, <laughs> 2008, he was signed for a record label, 2010, Justin releases his second album, his first being earlier, which goes platinum, a few months later, his first official heading, uh, his first official heading to work kicks off, Baby, his hit single featuring Ludacris became an international hit and surpassed Lady Gaga's Bad Romance music video as the most viewed as well as the most disliked YouTube video in history. He also hires an official swagger coach and starts using swag as an adjective for every change he gets. He tweets an apparent enemy's contact out to his million plus followers. 2011, Justin released a concert and documentary, Never Say Never, which to this day is, has an impressive success rate, of turning non-believers into converts. 2012, Justin released a third album, Believe. He broke up with Selena Gomez and they got back together. They performed together at Jingle Ball. 2013, Justin's second concert film, Believe, hit, hit theaters. He also announces on Twitter that he is retiring on Christmas Eve. He backtracks, but not before infuriating all the reporters forced to write about a 19 year old retirement on holidays. 2015, after being brave during his Comedy Central special, uh, Justin released Where, Where Are You Now with Jack Yu, a collaboration that propels his eventual comeback. 2019, Justin released the album The Best. 2020, Justin released the album's changes, hashtag TBT and Home for Christmas. 2021, Justin releases the albums JV6 and Justice. All right, um, my, uh, um, my personal connection. So the reason why I chose Justin Bieber is because he's a musician, which is cool because I am too, and I like to listen to his music. My last Heritage Fair project was a Canadian jazz musician, so this time I wanted to do someone from more modern popular music. And lastly, conclusion, Justin Bieber is an amazingly popular singer-songwriter. He was born in 1994 on March 1st in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. He started to become famous in the 2010s and gained popularity since. He's an international singing sensation, and his career all started from his videos on the internet. And that's it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. I I have to admit something. I don't really listen to the radio that much. I listen to like playlists and half of those songs I didn't even know were Justin Bieber. And now we're going to put that on the internet with me admitting that. So <laughs> that's the thing that I just admitted. Um, but yeah, so that's really awesome. I didn't know all that. And that's great that he um, released uh, or that he did so many Make-A-Wish um, uh things for for kids that's fantastic um i've got my questions up here and i think you've answered most of them so this is great just a few questions um what was the most valuable resource that you found i know sometimes when people are doing projects about more contemporary people it's hard to find like books and things yeah i think uh, i used well over 
10 websites probably and one book so <laughs> um but there was some pretty valuable ones uh um basically all of them like several of these different websites were for uh different sections of the board but there's like a good one was um for the timeline that i it was uh www.teenvogue.com and so that was a pretty good uh resource to find a lot of information about the timeline yeah teen vogue is a pretty good they're they're a pretty good resource yeah how did you figure out which websites were were like accurate and which ones were like fan made? Mm. Well, I guess kind of the perspective mm -hmm. in which the website is like, I guess, written or the information is like, I guess, written. But other than that, I don't really know. Okay. Um, and you mentioned that last year you did a jazz musician. What did you find were the similarities between the, the music industry when you had researched the jazz musician and the music industry today? Um, similarities were, um, so they, well, obviously they were both musicians, so that was a big similarity, but, uh, who was the jazz musician you did last year? Um, his name was Oscar Peterson. You may or may not okay. know him, yeah, but yeah, he's a Canadian jazz musician. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Okay. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you one last question. Um, you said that you're a musician. Do you sing as well? <laughs> uh I uh, yes but do you want do you want to sing us a little something to sing us out of your presentation uh sing us a little Justin Bieber oh yeah sure um I'll sing his uh I'll sing his hit his number one hit baby <laughs> uh it goes like oh whoa Oh, 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 I know you love me. I know you care. Shall we never? And I'll be there. And something, I don't really know the rest, but. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you so much, Josiah. I've learned a lot from your presentation. Thank um, you. That was fantastic. Thank you so much.